Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Adam Rose. Within this video we're just going to have a quick look at display states within SOLIDWORKS. Within any, within any assembly model I can go in and change different versions of a file by accessing configurations and different display states. Now a display state unlike a configuration isn't dealing with dimensions or whether an item is suppressed it's purely dealing with the visual properties of a design so we can go in and change the color of our model and also we can go in hide and show different items or access the display style and change that between different designs so first of all I'm going to create several display states within this manager to do that I just right click the properties for a display state are, co are copied from what, whichever item is currently active now as all these are the same because they're all copied from the same one it doesn't really matter I'm going to start off by renaming these the first thing I'm going to show you is actually how to create an alternate color version of the same design so you'll see I've quite nicely added some appearances onto this particular model and I've act activated an alternate color display state which I'm going to use for this particular exercise now I want to view my design tree alongside my configuration manager and it just makes it a lot easier to make some changes within the model and I can expand my display pane to also access some of the areas where we can change the visual properties of a model but for the first change I'm going to make it's just within the appearance of scenes and, and decals section within the right hand side I'm going to just drag some appearances onto the design and I'm applying those at assembly level whenever we apply any appearance onto a design within SOLIDWORKS you'll see down the bottom left hand side we get the option to actually change where the display state uh, the appearances sorry is applied to so we can specify different display states within here and it gives us quite a lot of control when adding the appearances okay so now you'll see I've actually changed most of the colors within this design and if I switch between that alternate color and my default display we get quite a nice uh, visual of you know, how display states are used I'm not going to create a different display state using the display style section just minimize some of these menus now when I change the display style I can change from the default display to something like hidden lines removed and I'm going to do that for most of these components and it allows me to see through the model and, and be able to have a look at the internals we can also change the appearance of a model so it will be transparent as well and you see all of a sudden we get try quite an attractive uh, looking visual that can be used within a drawing for example the last example I'm going to show you is just to actually hide and show elements so we can just click on this left hand column within the display pane to get rid of elements entirely so I've created four display states there which show the different ways that you can actually uh, set up display states within SOLIDWORKS I'm now, going to be, I'm now going to show you what they can be used for one of the ways is when we go to actually open up a document we get the, the ability to access different display states from this drop down menu and you'll see we could access something like this body hidden display state and choose not to load the body into, the mod, uh, into our graphics area entirely which is obviously quite useful for models which contain a lot of components uh, which might slow up your machine the other way is actually when we're creating a drawing we can use a display state to show uh, elements of a model which wouldn't ordinarily be visible so I'm just going to switch between this design and a model drawing I've already got open and I'm going to activate one of the display states that I've created so I've got one here that shows the internals and you'll see that looks quite nice within this environment another way that you can use display states within SOLIDWORKS is to unload components entirely from the model with this body hidden 
display state I've got active, the body of the model is completely hidden out of view and I can right click at the top just to remove that from memory and obviously within a large assembly that will make quite a big difference to the RAM. So there we have quite a few different ways that you can access and take advantage of display states. Thank you for watching.